If you don't do that, your relationship will degrade over time. That is just a guarantee. That is a reality. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Relationship Theory. I'm your co-host, Tom Bilyeu, and I'm here with my beautiful, amazing, talented wife, Lisa. Hello, baby. What is up? Today, we're talking about entrepreneurship and relationships. Let's do it. Let's, Let's get right do into it. it. Yeah, I think we have enough experience on this. I think we do. All right. So first question, this comes from um, a fan question, Irvine R. Sanchez. How do you balance building your business without your loved ones feeling forgotten about? My vision includes my girlfriend and son, but I find it hard to explain that I'm not ignoring her or him, but it's important to build my business because when things go well, we have the time and resources to do whatever we please, whenever we please. We have lived this exact nightmare scenario. So um, first of all, you are ignoring your significant other and uh, acknowledging that is going to make this go a lot better. So you're going to need to carve out time specifically to spend with them. And I laugh because... If you're saying, I'm going to ignore you for years and years and years while I build this thing, but it's going to be amazing and it's going to be worth it, don't don't worry, which is exactly what I told you. And I thought that it would take 18 months. And at the six and a half year mark, you pulled me aside and said, you're now damaging our marriage. And I was like, whoa, that is a very powerful wake up call. I'm glad that you finally said something and you tried to just be a rock star and Mm. just be like, I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it. I can like keep putting this off and I can, you know, keep waiting for that moment when we finally hit. It's going to be amazing. Uh, The struggle is guaranteed. The success is not. So you need to love what you do every day. You need to assume that that's going to be the way that it is forever and that it's going to go on like that. So you better be deeply passionate about that pursuit and really Mm. going for something and gaining the skills and like getting better and all that. But it is almost certainly going to take so much longer than any human being can endure having a lame relationship just based on the amount of time that you invest in it. So a relationship needs time and proximity to thrive. So one, acknowledge that you are spending a significant amount of time, quote unquote, ignoring them. So two, you need to carve out time to really spend quality time together where you are not working. You have completely shut off that Mm. side of your brain. You are fully engaged in that person. You're locked on. You're not checking your phone. It is all about that person. Nothing else matters. If you don't do that, your relationship will degrade over time. That is just a guarantee. That is a reality. Number three, the only thing that's interesting in a relationship is if somebody makes you feel They don't intellectually tell you, they make you feel like the most important thing, which means there are going to be times where it's either going to be moving your business forward or moving your relationship forward. And you're going to have to choose, not every time, but there are going to have to be really important times where the relationship has a bigger moment. There's something more important going on in the relationship than the business, but definitively by doing the relationship first, you're going to either damage the business or just miss an opportunity. in those moments when the relationship has a bigger moment, an anniversary, a uh, time to really be there and support the person, um, something is important to them, either good or bad, and you need to show up and you need to completely say, yep, the business could have moved forward more in this moment than it is, or I'm actually doing something to move it backwards. And I'm still going to do it because you have to be clear on what your real priority is. Mm. And this is where I think a lot of people get lost is they actually prioritize the business. That's their real number one priority, but they're not being honest about that. And if you're not being honest, like it's very okay if your business is your number one priority, but know that you're not gonna have a thriving relationship because on a long enough timeline, the person's gonna be like, oh my God, I'm number two. I'm always gonna be number two. And just like I don't think most people can be number two to another person, they can't be number two to a business. Mm -hmm. So having clarity around what your priorities really are acting in accordance with that, getting very good at being nuanced. Like, look, there are a lot of times where I put the business first because what it's got going is more important than the relationship, but I'm so careful. Like, case in point, we looked at our calendar and realized, oh my God, for the next six weekends, we don't have the time which we use the weekends to really focus on our relationship. It's not that we don't work, it's that we prioritize the relationship on the weekend. So if they come into conflict, we will do relationship stuff. And if they don't, then whatever room is left, then we work. But we prioritize the relationship during the weekend. And during the week, I prioritize the business. So we looked at our calendars and we realized, oh my God, for the next six weeks, we've got something going on. Either and we'd already here. spent three weeks not having time because you were working for the last weekends. Yeah. 
So it just was clear that that was going to be a problem. So we started shutting, stopping work with at least an hour before bedtime so that we could hang out. And we just saw the calendar and we're like, okay, we're going to have to do this like two or three or more times per week in order to really connect, which I never do. Like my whole thing is Monday through Friday. If I'm awake, I'm either working or working mm -hmm. out, but I'm not stupid. Like once the dogma collides with my goals, then the dogma's got to go. Right. That's what I was going to say about priorities. Cause the reality is like when people say that I'm your, pr or you, when people hear you say, I'm your priority, I, I worry that they think that then I always come first. The truth is I most of the time come last when it comes to like business or me in regards to our day to day. But if our relationship, why are you smiling? <laughs> I'm just waiting to hear. <laughs> but if our smiling. relationship is in not trouble, but needs some attention, then of course we, when it comes into conflict relationship or business, a hundred percent relationship all the way. But on a day to day, it is the business we put first, not yeah. our relationship. You're absolutely right. It, it's moments of conflict. Right. And that's when where, you have to choose right. and there are going to be times you need to have your priorities clear yeah. in your own mind. And um, I don't know if people haven't necessarily, like, they may not have heard the story of how we decided to not have children. But this very thing was instead of living in a world where we're like, oh, well, once the business is successful, then I'll spend time with you and the kid. We played the game of no, no, what are we actually what does our life look like knowing that we live the life that we do? Because assume that we never necessarily make it. No, you know, the success is never guaranteed. So what does the journey look like? And are we living the type of journey that we want? And so the answer is yes, right now we are. We live the life that we want to live. So if we had a child, instead of pretending you're going to be there for the kid after the next year or once the business is X, we just said, what does it look like now? Like if I fell pregnant to my, if I had a kid, what would that day to day look like? And the answer was, is that you're going to be busy all the time. You come back late from work. You're not really going to be home for dinner at 6 PM. And so is that the type of life we want? Is that the way we want to bring up our children? And we both said no. Um, and so that's how we ended up deciding that, okay, children isn't right for us, but we did the, we played the game quote unquote, with the realistic um, lifestyle that we have. And I think that that's one thing that this guy is not doing, right? He's having that end goal inside and it's just like us where we were trying to chase money. It's like, that's never the, the end goal. It's always the pursuit or like what he's trying to do.